Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like and share this video, especially if you really do so, because I know you will enjoy this video, and I encourage you to watch until the end because the last symptom that I'm going to talk about is the most important one. So number one is disorientation. So disorientation means like you're basically, you don't feel like yourself. You feel like something is wrong, it may be dizziness, it may be slurred speech, or it may be just looking like this. So if your mother is looking at symptoms of diabetes, no, it's not a symptom of diabetes. Although sometimes metformin can cause chest pain or some medications can cause chest pain. But when you have chest pain, you have to be extremely careful. Don't assume there's your reflux, especially if you have high risk factors. So what's the highest thing to ignore? So if you have numbs or tingling, make sure you take care of that. Now, how do you take care of that? You have to make sure you watch, you, you monitor your feet yourself. It's better to look at the bottom of your feet if not every day, blurry vision can happen when your blood sugar fluctuates too much or if your blood sugar comes down from let's say 300, 400 down to 100 very quickly within a week or two, you may have blurry vision. A good sign that your numbers are coming down, but sometimes five is urinary problems. If you are urinating too often, or you're not, you're not urinating at all, or you're you're wetting yourself, these are problems that are commonly seen in, as a part of diabetic in your breath. Now, more important for type one diabetics, but it happens to type two diabetics as well, especially if you're on SGLT two inhibitor.